More than 1,200 children have died of suspected measles and malnutrition in Sudan refugee camps since May. That's according to United Nations agencies on Tuesday. Sudan's army and paramilitary group Rapid Support Forces have been fighting for nearly six months. The UN agencies say the country's healthcare sector is on its knees due to direct attacks from warring parties, as well as shortages of staff and medicines. Dr. Alan Maina, chief of public health at the UN Refugee Agency, told a briefing in Geneva that some 3,100 suspected measles cases and 500 cholera cases have been reported across the country since May, along with outbreaks of dengue and malaria. And uh, unfortunately, we fear that the numbers will continue uh, rising because of uh, strained resources. As, as partners have mentioned, um, WHO and UNICEF, we continue having challenges, logistical and other challenges, to ensure supplies are adequately provided, to ensure the vaccines are adequately provided to all the targeted uh, refugees, trying to expand the target age group for vaccination. James Elder, a spokesperson for the UN Children's Agency, UNICEF, said the organization worried that many thousands newborns among the 333,000 babies known to be due before the end of the year would die. They and their mothers, as you heard, do need skilled uh, delivery care, rather in a country where millions are trapped, millions are lacking access to those basic uh, healthcare services, and there are of course grave shortages of medical supplies. Such care is becoming less and less likely by the day. He added that every month, some 55,000 children require treatment for the worst form of malnutrition in Sudan. But fewer than one in 50 nutrition centers are functional in the capital Khartoum and one in 10 in West Darfur.